I'd like to talk about um, another act of protest that's been going on inside the White House. This is something we've talked about before on the show, but it just keeps getting covered in the news. It's, it's still a problem. Headline, Secret Service had to adjust tactics to avoid bites from Biden's dog. This is by Peter Baker for the New York Times. He's like their number one White House reporter. And Commander, Major, whoever the Biden dogs are now, um, battleship, um, tank, uh, they're they're still biting people, and I can't help but think it's like on some you know in some sense dogs can just sense evil, and I think that's what they're doing here. And you know if a dog could kill themselves, I think they I think they probably would have already. I would have found the big pile of Hershey's kisses and uh, <laughs> uh, self sacrificed in protest of what's going on uh, in the world right now. But I just like to read from the article here. It says here the Secret Service had to adjust our operational tactics to protect President Biden. Because the first family's dog kept biting agents, including the one who required six stitches and another whose blood spilled onto the floor of the White House, according to newly released internal emails posted online. The agency recorded at least 24 biting episodes between October 2002 and July 2023 involving Commander, a German shepherd who became the terror of the West Wing, Camp David, and the president's homes in Delaware, about half of which required medical attention, according to the documents. Commander was banished from the White House last fall to an undisclosed location. The recent dog bites have challenged us to adjust our operational tactics when Commander is present. Please give lots of room, st staying a terrain feature away if possible. Well, it happened at Camp David. Yeah. There isn't plenty of room there. <laughs> they brought him upstate and let him run around, and he's still biting people. Yeah, yeah. Every it's a giant <laughs> open field. They say, go, 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 enjoy the world. And he just turns right around 180 degrees and starts biting people. Yeah. Every I Secret mean, Service think, agent has issued a tennis ball. <laughs> I, th I think we need to like look at the fact that this dog clearly loves being in a very enclosed office space and just attacking as many people as possible. It's neurodivergent. Yeah. And that's its special interest. <laughs> I think it just wants to do that. It has a very specific routine. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I feel like a uh, commander his life is like a roguelike. He just has to keep <laughs> seeing how many people he can bite in one room and he just has to do it over and over again. He might have been a corrupt official in his past life. You know, he might have done something that caused him to be reincarnated as a bad dog. It's, it's a, also it's a, a roguelike for Joe Biden because it's randomly generated for him every time. It's the first time he's seen it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We need to, I need to look up when did James Trafficant die and when did Commander the dog uh, get, get come, into the, come into existence? We need to look that up. Uh, just going on here, it says the cache of emails not only documented various episodes and sometimes graphic detail, but also captured the trauma and concern among Secret Service agents and officers who shared techniques for the best way to avoid getting hurt. Secret Service personnel were bitten on the wrist, forearm, elbow, waist, chest, thigh and shoulder. One was saved from injury by his ammunition pouch. Among the documents was a photo of a torn shirt. I was in shock that the incident occurred, wrote one special agent who was attacked while holding the door for the president on October 2nd, 2022, as Mr. Biden took commander out onto the South Lawn. The dog grabbed the agent's left arm and stood on his hind legs. He is literally my height standing, the agent wrote. Fortunately, the doctor found no puncture wound. After this, I was concerned about him getting out of the residence being or being out without a leash for others' safety and mine. That is crazy. The dog is just standing like problem. a human. The dog just stands up to bite people. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a reincarnation situation here. It bites yeah. their neck like a vampire. Can they not just get a chihuahua? Would that be admitting defeat? Like, could they not just get a small dog? Joe Biden. Biden. I've seen way better behaved dogs that have a muzzle when they go out for a walk. Yeah. Joe, Joe Biden can't do that. Because, like, anyone else in this situation, right, like, they would make it so, like, uh, you know, you never even knew that dog existed. They would erase all traces of them having a dog. Ob if Obama's dog bit people, he would Obama bite him back. God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he would be, you know, he would, that dog would be on a spit roast or, or, or killed otherwise. I don't know. But with Biden... Remember those texts that Biden had to Hunter where he's like, I love you. You're my sweetie baby. You're the most.
perfect apple of my eye. That's and how old all... guys treat dogs. Right. That's how my grandpa right. treats his dogs and everyone complains about it. Like he just, it, those shitty little dogs go around and yap and bite people and piss on the floor. And he just picks them up and says, oh, my little baby. Oh, my yeah. little baby. <laughs> exactly. See, exactly. exactly. Like they just, yeah. they don't have it in them to discipline anyone. Like they, exactly. You get it out on your kids. And then by the time you get the dog and you're old, it's like, oh, I couldn't, I could never do anything to you. <laughs> jo Joe's, Joe's only surviving son is like 53 years old and he's like this is the time in rehab that's really gonna take and joe is like absolutely do you need money for your 12th paternity suit my lovely sweetie honey there are all these pictures of him kissing him on the lips it's the same thing he and he a guy like that cannot get like a labradoodle he needs the biggest dog in the world, and it needs to be horribly behaved. <laughs> I don't know. You could get a pretty badly behaved Labradoodle. They're big ones. One of the ones that's like a standard poodle. And if I've... you don't train them, people, I don't know why people hate Labradoodles so much. My parents have one. It's very well behaved. It's not the Labradoodle's fault. They're overbred, but they are like, if you just do the, just like the bare minimum of good training, they are the most uh, sweet and pliant dogs. Poodles can sense weakness. There are no bad dogs, only bad owners. 